Hello, and today I'm here reviewing A Taste of Evil by R.L. Smith. This is book one of her Shadow of Fear series, and this is a vampire book. So, for all you vampire-loving readers out there, this is a good one. The first thing that I really, really liked about it was the villain in this book was a seriously awesome villain. He was evil. He wanted to dominate the world, change it in his image. He wanted his views pressed on everyone. And he was murderous and psychotic, so it was awesome. Um, the second thing that I really, really loved about this book is the main character of um, Emily. She is very outspoken. Like, when Ethan starts trying to warn her that something's going on, she doesn't accept what he say he says is true. Like she's like, You're a creeper. I mean, she gets, you know, she she really stands her ground and doesn't accept things too easily, which is really, really refreshing, especially in fantasy and paranormal, because women just kind of they take on almost this childlike pose of um if you tell them something, they automatically believe it. So she her like kind of fighting back was really, really refreshing. Um, then we have all the different twists and turns. There are so many characters in this book that are, like, interconnected by, like, a big, huge web. Like, I can only imagine the author has, like, sticky notes plastered all over her desk. Because otherwise, I'm kind of like, how would you keep all this straight? <laughs> because I was like, when I think that I had things figured out, it was like, Boom. No. Things are different. Boom. So, it was really, really interesting to read about. I'm very much looking forward to book two of this. It's definitely a series I'm going to continue on with. Um, just because there were certain characters that I wanted to learn more about. Mainly Ethan's mother, Liliana. And Marcus, I believe. And th those two are kind of important at the end, so you need to read the book. Um, and I also, there was like this council of necromancers and vampires. And I kind of want to find out how they fall into the second book. Because at the end, like it very much hinted that something was going to go down. So really, really cool book. Five out of five stars. This read really, really well. It was very... Um, smooth reading. This is the perfect vacation book. If you want a short book to take along with you on vacation, this one is not a door stopper. This is perfect. It's the perfect beach book. Trust me. This is one that you're going to want to read. So, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. This is available on Amazon. And you can can contact the author, I believe. She does have a Facebook page, so like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.